So to balance this equation, Zn plus Cu NO3 2, that's zinc metal plus copper 2 nitrate, we'll count the atoms up on each side of the equation. But before we do that, I'd like to think about, is this reaction actually going to happen? It's a single displacement or a single replacement reaction. The zinc will replace the copper, push the copper out so it's by itself. But let's see if it's going to happen. So we can check on the activity series to see if the reaction does take place if the zinc pushes the copper out. You can see that zinc right here and then copper down here. So things higher up towards the top are more reactive. So the zinc, that's above the copper, it's going to push the copper out. It's more reactive. So this reaction will take place. So let's balance it. We have one zinc, one copper, and then the nitrate, since we have nitrate here and nitrate here, I just keep it together. And that makes balancing a lot easier with single displacement and with double displacement. So we have one nitrate times two, two of those, one zinc, one copper, and then two times the one nitrate. So we have two of those. And it's very neat when we look at the nitrate as one thing. It's a lot easier to balance. And you can see this equation, it's already balanced. So this is it. And this is Dr. B with the balanced equation for Zn plus CuNO3 2. Zinc plus copper 2 nitrate. Thanks for watching.